Tottenham, North London on a Friday night, Marcus Cox drove up to a takeaway. He saw a man he knew inside and motioned that he was going to kill him. Both men were carrying guns. The man left the takeaway, drew his gun and chased Marcus Cox's car. Caught in traffic, Cox abandoned his vehicle and ran up the high road, dodging bullets as the man chased and fired at him. Eventually, Marcus Cox tripped and fell. On Tottenham Highway, someone's just been shot. <laughs> Will you please come quick? <laughs> On Tottenham Highway, he hasn't been. Gunshots. Yeah. Five. The guy in the white hood fell. He slipped. Yeah. And, and then the guy just shot him in the back. Witnesses say the gunman stood over Marcus Cox and shot him at point-blank range. Then he disappeared along Northumberland Park. Marcus Cox died on the pavement, lying on his own unused gun. The police need to trace two people, the gunman and his possible accomplice, a man who was seen taking the keys from Cox's abandoned car. Marcus Cox was 25. He was a prominent member of a local gang, the Tottenham Mandem Crew. His long criminal record started with burglary when he was just 11. As he was shot by another black man, his murder is dealt with by Trident, an elite squad created in response to the black community's concern about such shootings. Around about 8 o'clock, the police find Marcus Cox, our victim, shot in the street. Uh, he's got multiple bullet wounds, four I'm now led to believe. Now, he's either slipped or it may have been winged with a non-fatal injury. He's gone to the ground uh, and then the gunman has walked up to him and put at least three shots, three further shots into him. He had an entry wound to the right-hand side, just under his cheek ear, just under his right ear. That bullet appeared to go right through his head, through his mouth and pop out the other side. We believe because the bullets come out and then got back in again as if he was lying on the pavement. It's hit something, ricocheted and gone back in and the bullet was found just behind the skin. It's literally gone horizontal across the body. On his left shoulder, there's an entry wound. It's gone through the shoulder, down, straight down and hit the top of the uh, main vessel above the heart. It's a mess, it's just blown to bits and that's what would have caused his, uh, inj his death. Detective Sergeant Mark Brooks has worked exclusively on North London crime for the last 12 years. We can't have people on the streets of Tottenham, Harlesden, Hackney, Lambeth, wherever it is, running around with guns, shooting at people, believing that they run the streets. Because at the end of the day they don't, and you know, they might be in a gang, but there's 30,000 in my gang, and we run the streets, not them. Uh, in the bottom line, so people want to run around with guns, shooting at people, then we're going to come after them, and when we do, we're not going to give up. 70% of London's shootings are between members of the black communities. In the last five years, over 100 young black people have been shot dead. Tottenham in North London is best known for its Premiership football team but it's also a breeding ground for gun crime. Some black youths are tempted into a gang culture of drugs, money and guns. The day after Marcus Cox's murder, specialist teams searched the 180 metre stretch of Tottenham High Road where the chase happened. They find eight bullet casings. One bullet hit a phone box and another a passing car. It was extremely lucky that no one else was hurt. Trident's North London murder team is 33 strong. They search for clues in Marcus Cox's past that might lead to a motive and the killer. As he was a notorious gang member, the list of possible suspects is large and growing. Detective Inspector Scott Wilson leads the case. It's the 35th murder he's investigated in the last 10 years. It's going to be a very difficult case uh, for the simple reason Marcus did have a criminal background. He had over 70 convictions and he did have a lot of enemies. He did have a lot of friends, as we know, but he did have a lot of enemies as well. 
He is a, a typical trident victim in as much as he's part of a, a gang, and we're talking the Mad Dem crew, which associate with firearms and drugs, and he's quite high profile within that gang structure. So he's not a, a, a junior member who's, who's running drugs in the street, he's quite a high profile member of that gang. Detective Constable Paul Wheatley is also on the team. He's a born and bred Londoner who joined the police 12 years ago. Marcus Cox, he's well known around the area. He had a, a liking for violence and into the uh, sort of gang culture around Tottenham, North London. And he was quite menacing to say the least and uh, the life he'd led certainly wasn't um, conducive to living a long life. Um, see, I was saying you play with fire, you get burnt. But he was uh, his mother's son and um, you know, everyone deserves the protection of the law. And therefore, it needs to be investigated and will be investigated irrespective of people's uh, history. Over 60 people saw the shooting, but none can name the gunman or his possible accomplice. Detective Constable Reg Rording is at the murder scene appealing for more information. A lifelong Spurs fan, he knows the area well. Were you in this area this time last week? No, we were in Wales. Oh yeah? Best place? Yeah. Have you heard anything about it? Or? No, not really. No. Do you go for a drink now? Yeah. I'll oh, have one for me, will you? I will. <laughs> so, Jerry, that's all. Quite busy, as you can see, but, I mean, um, it, it's just uh, really being lucky to find the, uh, the people who may or may not have been here last week. Unfortunately, I haven't spoken to anybody who was actually here. I mean, I've spoken to two or three people who were here just before or just after. But we will persevere, hopefully, keep our fingers crossed. It's not raining, anyway, that's the main thing. <laughs> All right, darling, sorry to trouble you. Yes. Were you here this time last week? Yeah, I was in the church. Safest place in the church. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you think so? Is that where you're going now? Yeah. All right, say a prayer for me then. Nice one. <laughs> Trident doesn't only investigate shootings. Some of its 350 officers and staff work proactively with the black community to raise public awareness about the gun crime problem. John Coles is head of Trident. This is the Respect Festival, which is a multicultural festival in Victoria Park in East London. We've got a Trident stand here because obviously it's an opportunity for us to actually get into the young black kids in particular. Because Trident's not only about targeting the gunman, it's about trying to prevent young kids getting involved in gun crime in the first place. So we take opportunities to try and you know, get some face-to-face -face contact with the kids. Because uh, we want them to view us as, as a friendly uh, face as well as if they're a gunman, you know, a fearful face of us. It's just about spreading the word and trying to get people to understand what we're all about. Have you heard of Trident? What's that? Trying to stop young black boys shooting each other. What do you think about these people shooting each other? That's bad. It is bad, isn't it? So we can't be complacent, and in particular at the moment we're trying to get into the five, six, seven-year-old kids so we divert them away from any likelihood of getting into gun crime in the future. You will take some of our leaflets, give them to your friends, and give me a bag to put them in. Where do you live? Oh, do you? You come a long way then. Across London. Cheers. All right. See ya. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Detective Constable Rod Austin has been with Trident since it began in 2000. He's part of another team that investigates non-fatal shootings in South London. Gun crime spreading, and it's not just spreading within the black community, because we have got a gun culture. There's no doubt about it. We're simply adopting what's happened in, in America at the end of the day. People, rather than sort out their problems by arguing or fighting,